Hey, fans of Kindle Fire, John Heald, or the Carnival Jubilee, or maybe all three of them. Welcome to Coach Cruise. I'm your host, Brad. Anyway, I won't be talking long because what you're going to see is a discussion that John Heald had with Kindle Fire um, on Instagram. And I know not everybody has Instagram, and it was later shared on Facebook. So if you haven't seen it, it's been making the rounds, and it's been seen by, like, by a lot of people. So if you've already seen this, then by all means, uh, don't keep watching. But uh, for those of you new to Coach Cruise, we do everything cruise-related from vlogs. We go on so many cruises, so we do a lot of ship tours, things like that. Um, we do reviews on ships and, uh, you know, give you the breakdown of everything cruising, especially if it's carnival. So this is just one of those instances, like I said, um, not everybody, you know, has access or has every social media platform. So when something like this occurs, I try to, you know, load it up, get it on video and share it also with you uh, so you can see and not miss anything and stay in the loop. So hit that subscribe and like button. And um, without any further ado, let's hear from my cousin Cookie. And then right after that, we'll hear from Kendall and John. Here we go. Oh, YouTubers, check me. This is Cookie, your cruise director on the Carnival Horizon down in Miami, Florida. Trust me, number one, you want to follow this man's channel, Coach Cruise, because he's the absolute best coach out here, not about fitness, but about cruising. Trust <laughs> me, he's going to make sure you have the best time ever because he knows the ins and outs of every cruise that you go on. So click that like, follow button, and share more about this brother right here. Not only is he my coach, but he's my cousin. We'll see you all <laughs> on the next cruise. Until then, we're out of here. All Peace. Right. Where are you? Why didn't that work? There you are. You're coming. There you are. Hello. <laughs> I have never felt so technologically challenged. Well, oh, you know what? You're you're young. You're supposed to. You're the one that calls it Insta and all this, and I'm staffing around. And <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, you'll be following me soon on TikTok. <laughs> Is that what it's? No, you're. Oh, John. I don't have a TikTok. I don't. Oh, I was really hoping you were going to start recording videos and doing dances. I thought oh, that would. Be there is not enough vomit in the world, but in, instead, ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to first of all. I know I don't normally do Instagram, but Facebook is these videos are all over the place. I'll post this on on Facebook later. But let's go on and go straight away into introducing you, because for those who do not know. This is the first of the interviews that I will be doing with the uh, senior officers of the Carnival Jubilee. And we're going to start off with Miss Texas herself, the cruise director of the brand new flagship. Ladies and gentlemen, Kindle Fire. <clears throat> Say hello. Hello, everyone. Reporting live from Fort Worth, Texas. Um, on a very gloomy day, we got rain for the first time in about three months, and everyone's houses have been destroyed, so it's a great day. Destroyed by well, rain? Texas is flat, so there was a lot of wind, so there's a lot oh. of rain. We've got shingles missing, and it, everyone's still outside, like, praising the ground because it's wet. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope everybody's okay. Now, let's start with the thing that everybody's asking, right? Everybody wants to know, and that is obviously the question. You've been a cruise director how long now? Uh, since 2018, when I covered on the breeze. So that's only five years. And two of them were pandemic, so we can't really count them, I suppose. Stay in school, because I had to count on my hands. Um, so <laughs> how do you feel? I mean, you got the call from from somebody, and they said, would you like to be the cruise director for the Carnival Jubilee? Now, I saw your reaction on the video, and it was, was you know, my daughter watches your videos. I don't, right, because you're pretty, you're far too perfect teeth and a whole lot, but she loves them. I saw your reaction, and it was ecstatic. Was that a true and honest feeling? Yeah. It's, like I said, I mean, if anyone's been following my story, they know that I've cruised since I was seven. Um, and whenever I went into college and figured out what I wanted to do, it was always going to be like, be a cruise director for Carnival Cruise. And so when I crossed that milestone and as I kind of moved into like really pushing forward as my career and this being like the goal, um, I saw other like cruise directors I really looked up to bring out cruise ships. And I was like, that is the highest thing that I can achieve 
that I want to do. And so that was my next goal after I became cruise director. And the fact that when it all kind of came into fruition and I recorded that video because it was either good news or bad news. And I wanted to make sure I had the video for my lawyers. Um, but I, when I reacted to it, I, I didn't even know, like I was overwhelmed. I literally was like, are you being serious? Like, is this a joke? Like, are you going to be like, just kidding. You're not going to Jubilee. You're going to the ecstasy. Um, I, I just, it was a very honest reaction. I cried. I called my mom. I sent her the video. She was crying. Um, so it was, it was overwhelming and it was just like one of those very surreal moments that I will luckily have videoed and remember for a very, very long time. So I, I, I take it when, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your cruise director, the Carnival Jubilee for the first time, and you walk out on stage. Oh my gosh. Massively proud, proud young lady. Yeah, and it's the fact that it's in Texas, like, and although it's five hours from my hometown, it, there's something about being in Texas on a cruise ship that just feels like home. And so it'll be like walking into the living room at Christmas. And the fact that it's the Christmas cruise, it literally will be that. And and then just having like my family's gonna be there. They booked on, they were like, we're going on the cruise, whether you're the cruise director or not. But having that as another layer as well, it's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to speak or do anything after that. So I hope everyone is gonna be okay with a cruise director as a puddle. Um, on stage as like an event because that's probably what's going to happen because I'm just going to be sobbing. <laughs> oh, oh, the puddles from the tears. I sorry, I was <laughs> going to say ends, but I, I would. I don't think that's exactly that going to happen. I got it. Uh, so you're <laughs> crying, um, and and of course between now and then you're home now, and a lot of people yeah. don't understand. It's not just a question of you showing up to the ship a week or so before um there's a lot to go to bringing out a new ship so tell us and i know you can't tell us some of the surprises that are coming but tell us a little bit about your schedule between now and when you join the ship so i've been off since july and kind of through this entire time that i've been off um we've been having meetings uh, kind of getting ideas together of there's stuff that the, the company has very much structured and kind of created and that is going to be implemented, but there's still a lot of things that I, I will put my flair on different parties, different aspects and getting to know my team, making sure the team kind of gels well together. And um, my timeline is I, I leave at the end of October and we go to Miami to the studios to kind of learn all the new activations. Um, hopefully there's lots of dancing because that's a strong suit. And then we go out to the ship and I think we're joining in like Amsterdam or something um, to join the ship. And then we'll actually implement everything on the ship with the cast, with the, with the fun squad, with all the technicians. Cause as you know, there's a lot more to just like showing up and be like, okay, this is our locker and everything's already there. You have to literally block out everything. All the lights have to be set exactly. And um, so like all that is so exciting cause I've done it as a fun squad. And like, I was the one like putting all the boxes in the shelves and doing all that, but now I'm going to be doing it in like the cruise director seat and be the one being like, okay, no, this is our locker and we have to organize everything. And um, so that's all gonna be happening in November. And then we bring it over and do the big crossing. I don't even know when we get to Texas, to be totally honest, but I'm looking forward to my first Whataburger when we do arrive. So yeah, it's a- <laughs> what, uh, Yeah, what a who burger, what? what? You don't even know what a Whataburger is. You've tasted a Whataburger. No. It's the delicacy. I don't, I, 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 last time I was in Texas, somebody made me something called chitterlings, chit, chitting, chitting, chitterlings. It wasn't very nice. Chitterlings. Chitlings. Chitlins. Chitlins. Yeah, they weren't very nice. Yeah, no, probably not. I <laughs> that's another thing. You know, that's the best thing about, you know, because I did a few new ships and um, 17 actually, and I loved it being saying to the side it goes in that locker that you just sit there you can actually sit there now your chair's got wheels on it you can actually wheel yourself around saying put that there put that there no. um, dancing, no, no. dancing and all the things that that are going to be on the ship and again there are lots of things that we haven't actually told everybody about yet but you have say again but there's so many new things it's hard I, to know well, some of it we can't talk about but some we can but what we what, what, well we can't we'll talk about it me and you but what we can we can talk about is what's made you such a popular cruise director now this is probably going to be the most difficult question i'm going to ask you yeah don't do why no, 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 and don't worry about being modest 
why do you think you have such a huge following? Why do people love cruising with you? What is it about you? I mean, there is nothing harder than trying to self-reflect and try and tell somebody and sell yourself. But I, I know that if anything, I'm very genuine to the guests. Being that I've come up through Carnival, it is something that I hold really near and dear to my heart and my family's memories and everything that we've kind of done and, and big moments like my parents, you know, vow renewal and graduating from college and high school and us all taking cruises. A lot of those core values that I have and like core memories of my family were on specifically Carnival cruise ships. And so being able to have a hand in that for other people, I take it very seriously to make sure that the guests have a great time. So I think that that kind of translates as I do want to be a part of their family for that week or when they come back and see me, it's like coming over to your aunt's house or coming over to your friend's house. And so I think that that's probably something that really core, like resonates, especially with the Texas crowd whenever I'm here, because you can be like, oh my gosh, can you believe the storm that, you know, Temple, Texas had this week or, you know, there's just a different level of connection. Um, but other than that, I just, I try and be as, as upfront, as genuine with the guests as I can. Um, and I think that that is something that, that really resonates with the guest. I'll tell you if what, I had to well, I, I, and a wise man called Gary Hunter, who I worked on the Jubilee. The <laughs> I was a host. I was a, a, a social host, we call them then. There was only me. There's only one. It was me and a guy called Gary Hunter who was a ventriloquist. And that was me. Okay, that's me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do the fact jokes. <laughs> Thank you. So um, he once said to me, he was a brilliant cruise director. He'd have them laughing and then crying and then laughing. He said, the best cruise directors are the ones who are the same off the microphone as they are on it. Because all a microphone does is make your voice loud. Right. And I think you, you, you've taken that to heart. And you're the same whether you're standing on a bar, doing the wobble <laughs> or whether you're just walking in on promenade saying hello to people and i think uh, the people on the jubilee are going to have a, a lot of things and a lot of great stuff to look forward to uh, before we go two last quick things um your personal life is not to be discussed on here because it's none of my business is it not <laughs> would, you, uh, would you like to say like you like to say hello to perhaps just pick any other cruise director in the fleet randomly and send a message to him. Oh, well, I, I, I knew you were going to do this. So, Cookie, not, I hope you have a wonderful... Cookie. No, not Cookie. Not, no, not Cookie. I want Biscuit, Limp Biscuit, J Joey. <laughs> yes, Joey is my fiancé. Uh, he's currently on the Venezia, which I just got off of. And I think, John, you can agree with me. It is a stunning ship. Um, That's a more... As many... It's a more for you yeah it's beautiful but the i just i'm i'm excited anyways we digress joey, why am i camera and say something to joey stop waffling go joey wake up from your nap and go and make sure your schedule is done for the next cruise <laughs> you're about as romantic as a washing machine i just i we joseph joey, joey she loves you very much she loves you, right she loves you hilarious you has come to terms with the fact that you're a better cruise director. So you just go out there tonight and know that, okay? There, I said it for you. Um, in this series of interviews, uh, next I'll be interviewing the captain and then the chief engineer and the hotel director. So uh, you're all part of this team and I'll be doing some more interviews in the next yeah. few days. With I'd like you to finish by sending a message to all the people who are going to be cruising on Carnival Jubilee with you. Send them a little something. Well, to all those that are sailing on Jubilee, I hope you guys are ready for an experience you've never had before. The fun will be there, but everything else is going to be elevated, new, shiny. And uh, whether you've cruised once or this is your 101st cruise, Ed Patterson, I'm talking to you, it is going to be something new and fun and exciting. And I hope you guys are all looking forward to it. And we're going to bring Texas to life on the Carnival Jubilee. We are. Congratulations. We are very proud of you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't do that. You know what that means, John. I don't know, but forward. you just did it. Forward. Or was it the other one? Forward. Why do you backward? He sighed. He sighed. Yeah. Anyway, um, I just want to say congratulations. We're very proud of you. Uh, good luck to you. I will see you in uh, Holland before we go back to Papenburg. And then, of course, so, uh, you'll be seeing none of your business. We'll catch up later.
None of your business. Mind your own. None of my business. Oh, my. It's Joey it's knows. A... Joey knows. Thank you so much. I have to get rid of you now. Can you end your call? Because I don't know how to do that. Go away. I don't know how to. Oh, for f you don't know? No, I think well, I just. I just... don't know either. I'm just... So we'll just press stop. How do I press stop? Um, thank you for watching. And this will be on Facebook. Pardon? Just say bye to everyone. You just say bye, everybody. No. Bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. You do such an awesome job. Oh, sure. Um, and secondly, and this one is huge, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that you so much. You're welcome. Thank man. you, Lee. I just can't get away from a good time